under the stand. Anyways. Oh, okay, I'll fix that. Yes. All right, so um, uh, check in decibels. We are uh, on the Face Booze Live. Uh, kind of extended. Uh, we just did a Facebook Live on the WineSellerMedia.com page. And then we just let the podcast audio keep recording because I have that sort of I'm on vacation days from work attitude. And so we just went live again and we're going to go back and do an old one. We did this one back in July this year and we're doing this one again. All right. Oh, El Profe is watching. Hey, Profe. Oh, yeah. There's a. Uh, oh, and there's um, several niggas. All right, so uh, is everybody ready for some butt sex? All right, so we're, we cover this homophobe on the show. Uh, people listening to the podcast, you already know, but folks on the new Facebook Live, we cover this homophobic type cat. It's basically everything generically right-wing about him. Yeah. His name is Dave Dobenmeyer on the YouTube, uh, Coach Dave, Doc Coach. And um, he did a segment about how male butt sex is not convenient. All right? And uh, let, let, let's dig into this. Male butt sex is not convenient. All right, he gets right to the point. That's how he opens up the segment. All right? Just get right down to the get down. It's fruitless. All right? It's also fruitless. Okay? It's so unproductive. It's, so it's not like Donald Trump's... Juicy fruits. Damn, I gotta find that clip again. I moved a bunch of stuff around. I lost that from the soundboard. Ha ha. Now I I made this commitment. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay up and running because I'm I'm doubling down. And I'll just tell you some of you softy old old Christians out there, holier than thou Christians. Let me tell you something. We have got to restigmatize homosexuality. All right. Because it was unstigmatized. All right, so I, I don't know if anyone knew that, but they're, they're, at, at, right now, according to this white Christian feller, there is no stigma for folks that are gay. Nope. And they, they, they use homosexuality like they're fucking scientists or something, the way they use that term. Yeah. All right, so uh, there is no stigma. They need to re-stigmatize it. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, I think it, when it comes down to it, it's about messaging. It's how do you stigmatize it, Right. Mm-hmm. Ties homosexuality. We have, got, we have got, hang on, Vince. We have got to take the behavior and make the behavior front and center. Loving the issue. Lo- I love a lot of people I don't have sex with. All right. So love shouldn't have anything to do with it. It's just about the behavior. I'm pretty sure he doesn't actually <clears throat> love a lot of people, though. Yes, he does. Um, That's all he does. Yeah. So people love her. So you're telling me that white Christian men don't love everybody? Yes. <laughs> the issue. Lo- I love a lot of people I don't have sex with. I love a lot of people I don't have sex with. The homosexual men insert their penis in the rectum of another man. Uh, thank you. I had no idea that's how it was done. Yeah. I've been mystified this entire time. And of course, all of them do that. All right. All, yes. All of them. There's no handy dues. There's no. There's no, no docking. Oral, no, nothing. Um, also, I think what he actually meant to say was they use their penis to massage someone else's prostate. That's all. Yeah, that's all. I remember the first time I said that on the podcast, I said you're pushing the button because I forgot the word prostate while we were live on the air. Oh, no. So I was like, you know, you're pushing the button there. I thought that's one of my favorite memes where it was like, um, God, don't be gay. Also, God puts man's G-spot in his anus. Oh, the, I saw some similar. The, the way I saw it worded, it was um, no homo, God said, as he put the G-spot in the male rectum. <laughs> uh, anus, yeah. Anus in the rectum of another man. Think about that. Why? Why do you need to think about it? That's a big problem with it, is that they're like, we need to be thinking about it. Hate it, but think about it. Think about it. Like, what the fuck? Think like, I don't think about Salisbury steak and fucking liver sandwiches. Like, I, I don't... Sandwiches, though. I don't know why sandwiches came at the end of that. There was a hesitation, too. <laughs> I, like, in my head, I was like, there needs to be another word to that. And then I just kind of threw one out there. No, I mean, no, I don't get... And I said it before, but, like, homophobic dudes think about dicks more than sex workers do. Yeah. It's a little weird. 
Yeah, man. Like, like, think about baseball. Listen about what you're supposed to think about when you guys think about. I don't know. This is happening, okay. But then baseball is wood and balls. <laughs> so fine. And then you know what? Like the the catcher is down there with a ball coming directly to his crotch, and the only way he can be saved is if is if another man stops it with his wood. <laughs> Everything's gay if you think about it. Everything's <laughs> gay if you think about it. Homosexual men insert their penis in the rectum of another man. Thank you. Think about that. <laughs> think about that. That. <laughs> Why? Why does he yell it the second time? What is the use in that? Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. That is what they do. When you walk into Wendy's, and you go to the bathroom before you get your hamburger, there's a sign that says all employees must wash their hands before returning to work. Okay. Why is that? Because it is dirty down there. So every time you go to the bathroom, you take a shit. Like, nigga, how much fiber are you consuming? Right, I'm like, so nobody pees anymore? Is urination doesn't end up being? No, fuck no. But then also, if you're, but then, and remember, everything's gay if you think about it. Yes. Every time you pee, you're touching anus because apparently we're all putting our penises in rectums. <laughs> we are all putting and our penises in rectums. Apparently not cleaning it off afterward. We're just like, all right, and back to going for a jog. And the mad pooper on both ends. <laughs> a lot of mad poopers out there. A lot there. of mad poopers out there. Right? So it's not <laughs> Timmy and Billy with a garden. That's not what it's about. It's about a diabolical, demonic activity that... Really? I had no idea. Just fucking, my Diabolical. Guy. My guy, it's just fucking... So, like, when, when gay dudes are getting it on, they're kind of twirling their mustache. <laughs> petting their cat. Okay. Then we will take them down. Well, they, they twirl the mustache to help them keep on rhythm with the stroke game. There you go. <laughs> stroke it while you stroke... I can't whistle. <laughs> that is eating. Yeah, man. It's double entendre. Double, double entendre. entendre. Activity that is eating our young children. And I'm going to be on the forefront of, of re-stigmatizing what it is that they do. And if you don't like it, go watch something else. No, I'm never going <laughs> to watch something else. I'm going to keep watching your goofy ass. All right, that was just an extra podcast add-on. We totally should have ended the episode about 20 minutes ago. We just dragged it out a little bit more. Everything's gay if you think about it. Think about it. Think about it. There's, uh, what's that, Brit? I don't know who that, there's a gang of y'all niggas. There's Fallon Loco. I don't see any comments, though. I just saw a laughing emoji. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, let's actually wrap this thing to hell up. Uh, PayPal.me slash Phoenix and William. Patreon.com slash Wine Cellar Media Fund. And remember, you can also go. I just went and um, copped a couple of joints. They weren't um, uh, physical books, but they're um, like you can read them with your Kindle. Yes. Uh, I don't know if Kindle is specific, like a, and I'm going to have to figure it out if it's an application that I download. But I purchased them. You can get Fallon Kitten, FallonKitty.com. All right, that's Fallon Matthews books that she writes and puts out there. And you can go cop them shits, you know, and um, <clears throat> through the Amazon.com. And, and if you uh, have trouble finding it on Amazon, it's linked there from her website. So you can go uh, help that nigga out, you know, hold it down. Oh, there's uh, Joey Loco left a comment. Oh, it says, oh, that's the, uh, I think he made a post out of one of my Facebook posts on the, um, Anaris project. Yeah. Yeah. About, um, about just saying, uh, people that disagree with you, uh, you can't just call them evil. Mm -hmm. And I made, I made a Facebook post about that. Yes. Thank you. Joey Loco holding it the funk down. Gracias, profe. Yeah. That too. He's profe. (laughs) Profe? Mm Mm-hmm. Is that for professor? Yes. No, it's not. That doesn't mean professor. Spanish. It's like this whole language. You should get into it. He said, go and get some wisdom. <laughs> All right, let's uh, jump the heck out of here. 
uh, patreon.com slash wine solar media fund and we need folks to go to uh, the black podcast on YouTube you'll see all our logos are the same they're all Fallon Matthews face we're very creative <laughs> very unique and original with our artwork F- fuck yeah uh, Fallon Matthew uh, lended us her face yes. she is a professional model and um, and Madison Page the only Democrat I get down with um, did the uh, like the whole poster thing that we use yes all right, and uh, let's get the heck out of here. And yeah, if you go to the YouTube, hit subscribe. Uh, we're at 158 last time I looked. We're trying to get the 4,000, and then we can apply to monetize. We got to get the 4,000, then just to ask if we can. I don't think they're going to let us do it, honestly, just because of our content. Ah, they're gonna, you guys are pretty even-handed and fair. If we were like Nazis, we could probably get away with it, though. Yeah, well, then let's be Nazis. Did not see that coming. Ha ha ha. See? It's the, the Dad Jokes Podcast. Pretty good stuff. All right, Facebook, we're out of there. My bad to the homie loco that just tuned in right there. Um, I'm going to hit finish, and then it'll be available, and you can play it back. All right, my nigga. Peace. <laughs>